The thing about a false count anywhere match is you can get thrown against the stairs or a barricade, but you usually have a chance to recover. Usually, but not always, Cole. If your opponent keeps attacking, there's nowhere in the arena that's safe. Speaking of which, we're not exactly out of harm's way either. I can't count how many times we've caught a superstar in our lap at these things. Oh, Byron, you're not exactly good at counting anything, but not to mention all the monitors that have been tossed and shattered. Our announce tables, desecrated. Was that reversal? Face Buster. Randy Orton might be the most successful third generation wrestler in WWE history. The Orton family has been a fixture in wrestling for over 50 years, competing in main events from the 1960s all the way to today. As great as his father and grandfather were, Randy brought the Orton name to even greater heights with multiple WrestleMania main events and over a dozen WWE Championship rings. look of Randy Orton. Simply said, this is going to be a great match. Boom, what impact! Corey, a false count anywhere match can turn an entire arena upside down. How can a superstar put themselves in a position to win? A competitor must put themselves in a position of power, a position of control. Render your opponent immobile and continue the assault. It's all about making use of your surroundings. You can't take anything in the environment for granted. The jumping complete shot. Hey, will this be enough? One, two, three. All good things must come to an end, but I wish that match could have gone on a little longer. 